Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to program the VAS mode in your ProSport. So we're going to power on the device. We notice it comes up in the default setting. We can increase the power plus pressing the plus key. Okay, the first we're going to up, go up to AVA mode. And then we're going to press select. AVA selected. Now to program it, we can go over we're going to use the same normal setting default power curve and we come to frequency. To increase the frequency, to select specific frequencies, press the up key and to decrease the frequency you can press the minus key. So we're going to go down to say 30, 30 hertz. Okay, there is about 30.54 hertz. Now, next, we're going to come over and select pulses. So we can increase the number of pulses per packet as desired. So this time we chose three pulses per packet. And we'll come over here and now we're going to select how close together those pulses are. The bigger the number of the Z value, the more time between pulses so the gentler that packet of pulses will be. Or you can reduce that number and tighten them up. Okay, next is damping. If we want to dampen it, you can press the plus or the minus button to damping. We're not going to dampen. And modulation, if you'd like the power to go off and on, you can select to modulate any pattern two to one, on for two seconds, off for one, on for three seconds, off for one, whichever modulation you'd like. Now, as long as you do not select modulation, you can still use biofeedback. But if you do modulation or damping, then you cannot get biofeedback readings. So we're going to not program modulation. Go over here and it says save. Save VAS1. Your ProSport comes with four VAS modes. VAS1, 2, 3, and 4. So to select which mode you'd like to save it in, just scroll to the selected mode. So we're going to save in VAS1. And see, it says when I hit select, it says save VAS1. Now, you'll notice that you can go back over here to the AVA mode and you can still take biofeedback readings. So we're going to put it on the body and we notice that we get biofeedback readings. Be at, so at many, many different frequencies you can still use your biofeedback feature. Now we have saved the program into VAS1 so we can turn off your device, turn it back on, go up to VAS1 and select it and your personal settings have been loaded. Now if you forgot what settings that you put in VAS1 or you'd like to change it, you can go up to AVA mode. Here we are in AVA mode. Hit select. And we're going to go over, we're going to scroll to the right until it says load VAS1. So we can load whatever's loaded in the various different VASs. Say load VAS1, press select. Now if we scroll back to the left, we can see what settings we selected. Okay. So here's modulation was off, that's correct. Damping was off, it's zero. Z value is nine, that's where we left it. Oops, I hit it twice. You'll notice pulses is three and frequency is 30.54 hertz. So to use your load, you can see what was loaded into the VAS modes. Thank you.